our chief meteorologist, Kevin Robinson. Hey there. Hey, good evening, Mike. And you're right. We've got rain. We're going to keep the chilly temperatures in place through the weekend, but now we're going to add in the addition of some wet weather. And wouldn't you know it just in time for your Friday night. And again, it looks like more rain on Sunday with the Bengals and the Buccaneers here playing in town. All right. Fortunately, tomorrow it should be a dry day. You don't have to worry about any rain. Tomorrow's really our transition day to the rain on Friday. And then I think Saturday is actually the best day of the weekend. While there may be a minor rain threat in there in the form of a few sprinkles or showers. I really think the steady rains or rains that will have a significant impact on outdoor activities really will come on Friday and then again on Sunday and some of that wet weather will likely linger on into Monday. I mentioned the chilly temperatures aren't going anywhere. You see what I mean here? Temperatures will continue to run right through the weekend, probably close to about 10 degrees cooler than they should be for this time of the year. In fact, on Friday and Monday, it could turn out to be quite chilly with clouds and on and off showers around. Mentioning chilly, I think that's a good description for tonight. Temperatures have been falling through the 40s since the sun set, and we're going to continue to drop after midnight. We'll slip into the 30s, and I suspect by morning we'll be in the mid 30s. Weather good guy, high pressure in place is going to slowly slide its way off towards the east. And you can already see here tonight that high cloud cover beginning to build out to our west. This will continue to thicken up during the day on Thursday and leave us leave us with some filtered sunshine. So here we are 45 degrees tonight underneath clear skies. We've got a northeasterly wind. I do think once again that this northeasterly wind will prevent widespread frost from developing overnight, but in some of the valleys and sheltered areas, undoubtedly you will likely get down and see a little bit of frost develop. For example, you can see the colder locations around the area tonight. Look at West Union at 36, Hillsboro's 36, Blanchester's in the 30s. You're down to 35 over there in Harrison. Within the metro, it's as cold as 38 in Kenwood, 36 in Wyoming. High Park coming in at 38. Right now, the warm spot seems to be the west side. Dale High coming in at 44. So if you were to take an average by morning, most of us within a degree or two of freezing around the area, somewhere probably between about 32 and 37 overnight tonight. Tomorrow expect, well, clouds to thicken up throughout the day, and that will keep highs between 50 and 55. Here's a look at Futurecast. It's quiet through the night. However, notice tomorrow morning clouds start to move in and they'll continue to thicken up throughout the day, and it looks like by evening we should be mostly cloudy. We're dry again Thursday night. We don't have to worry about rain until Friday. Friday morning will likely start dry, but by mid morning showers will be moving in and it's basically an off and on light, steady rain, cold rain throughout the day with a northeast wind. It's not going to feel very pleasant at all for high school football Friday night. What are we on? I think now eight out of 10 Fridays this season. We've had rain. No exception for the Blitz 5 forecast here with temperatures in the 40s. Also rain anticipated on Sunday too. Looks like it will be another day for a cool rain with temperatures generally hovering right around that 50 degree mark. So clear and cold tonight as we drop to a low of around 34 and then for tomorrow increasing clouds. Cool day 53 for a high. Here's your day planner. Cold in the morning. Make sure the kids have the jackets and the gloves in the 30s. We'll climb into the 40s by noon, 50s by late afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. So Friday and Sunday you see the exclamation marks there. Those are impact days primarily because of the outdoor activities that will be happening around the area, and it looks like both of which will be impacted by inclement weather, i.e. Mike, more rain. I.e. don't want more rain. All right, so the Bengals hoping to snap.